This video is sponsored by the Book of Bushido. Get yourself a copy now. Now, you often see videos and art and everything about knights v samurai and who would win and who was doing the best. However, in this video, we're going to ask what were they doing at the same times? An exact date on the earliest samurai is very, very difficult, but we can say by at least going into the eight and nine hundreds, the samurai are starting to take shape and they're wearing proto samurai armor. As the samurais develop across the 900s and into the end of the first millennium, the Viking raiders are hitting across England. And they're also going east towards the European Near East and into Russia. As the first millennium has passed and we're getting into the years 1100 and 1200, the samurai are starting to develop into something recognizable today as samurai. The Normans are invading England and becoming a powerhouse and a power force in Western Europe. The Crusades are unleashed as many knights from Europe make their way into the Holy Lands as a few hundred years of war begin. In Japan in the 1100s, the Genpei War is going on between the Taira and the Minamoto clans. Around the time that William Wallace is fighting, the English and the Scottish are fighting for their independence. The Mongols are invading Japan and fighting the samurai. In the mid 1300s, the English and the French are fighting each other, trying to decide who is the rightful ruler or the rightful owner of parts of France. While over in Japan in the mid 1300s, the warrior Kusunoki Masashige is defending the Emperor Go Daigo in the tale which is told in the Taiheiki. If you want to know more about this period, follow Samurai Traditions of the Tada Genji on YouTube. Back in Europe, the French and the English are still at it. This is the Battle of Agincourt and also the Siege of Orleans as the English and the French continue in the Hundred Year War into the 1400s. In Japan, after somewhat of some stability, the Onin War breaks out. And this is again a power struggle for the shogunate and who will rule Japan. This is the start of what will now become quite a long period of military conflict in Japan and see a lot of changes. In England, knights are battling it out in the War of the Roses as Lancaster and York fight against each other to try to get the English throne. Now, after the war, there was no one left to take the throne, so the Tudors came in and we end up with King Henry VIII. As King Henry is actually beheading his wives or divorcing them and all other such things and ending the Catholic faith in the UK, in England that is, um, the Japanese are in a state of turmoil. They're entering the Sengoku period. The simple way to understand this is that the old regime is falling the old ways are falling and a new class of samurai is rising to take power and this happens over the next 50 to 60 years. Really understand this period of history, follow the shogunate and also Sengoku studies. They do this in depth. In Europe, guns are really coming on and they've moved from basic weapons up to more sophisticated muskets. These more sophisticated guns start to arrive in Japan as do other foreigners, such as the Portuguese. You want to know more about guns in Japan? See Gun Samurai, he knows it all. These Jesuits, or the Society of Jesus, start to bring Catholicism to Japan and Japanese people start to convert. One important thing to remember is throughout the last half of the 1500s, the Sengoku period at its highest, where all the raging battles start to happen, Queen Elizabeth I of England is on the throne. She's there throughout it all. This relatively unknown samurai called Oda Nobunaga takes Japan by storm and he conquers a lot of Japanese land and things rapidly change under him. The very foundations of Japanese society are changing or have been changing, as have samurai armor. It's now more compact, tighter and designed for larger armies on foot and closer combat with less emphasis on mounted warfare. Nobunaga has been killed and this man, a man from nowhere called Toyotomi Hideyoshi, takes control of all Japan. But at the same time, the Spanish Armada are invading England and England is at war with Spain. 
by the mid 1590s, the samurai are invading Korea. It's samurai versus Korea and Chinese Ming troops. This is one of the greatest wars in world history by this time with the most amount of combatants. You want to know about this war? Japan at war and Stefan is your man. Go search him out. Last few years of Queen Elizabeth's life, the massive battle of Sekigahara takes place. Tokugawa Iyasu takes over the country and we enter into the samurai period of peace or a dictatorship. Even though the Tokugawa had won, they had to deal with a few things first, like the siege of Osaka and the Shimabara rebellion. But life became peaceful and it became structured and it started to move out of its warring period for the early 1600s. Reverse had happened in England and we had the English Civil War. The English King Charles was executed and Christmas is being banned. Even though it was peaceful times, by the year 1700, we had the 47 Ronin and their famous act of revenge and suicide at the name of their Lord. Europe saw a new way of fighting. They now moved in regiments and armies, in battalions and platoons, and they fought with muskets and formed lines between each other. Samurai had not given up the gun, but it was heavily restricted. Weapons were restricted and violence was restricted. The Tokugawa shogunate kept the rest of Japan in confines and kept them poor. And we get a rise in the merchant class and a rise in artistry and ceremonial behavior. Nelson had won the Battle of Trafalgar in the early 1800s and the steam engine was being developed and society as we know it today began to shape. Just as the American Civil War was coming to an end, Japan engaged in their own civil war, but they used traditional weapons. But very quickly, the samurai adopted a more modern stance and modern weapons became part of the samurai arsenal as the samurai themselves came to an end. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please, please get a copy of the Book of Bushido and help this channel out. Subscribe and share. There'll be links below for all the channels I've mentioned and for a copy of the book.